how to use a blender? That's a really frequently asked question. But to use a blender, you need to have a blender. Of course, you can get blender by going to your favorite browser. Then looking for blender.org slash download. Then after you have installed the blender package, uh, you can go to your uh, home page and look for blender 4.0. That's where you turn on your blender. Okay. So you think about your blender. Yeah. To make something in a blender, we must know what we are about to make. For example, I am going to make a banana milkshake. So for that, I probably know that I need some milk and some bananas and some sugar. So uh, today in Blender 4.0, we are going to make a cake. That's great. Uh, so to get started, here we have our default cube and we are just moving around. So a cake is basically a cylinder. So I'm gonna delete my default cube and add a new cylinder. So uh, I'm gonna scale this up, scale it down on the z-axis to match the ratios. Uh, so this is the basic uh, shape of the cake. Then we can right click and shade auto smooth, like give that smooth view. And now let's go into materializing it because that's generally a cake, right? Uh, now I would like to render in cycles. So I'm sw switching over to cycles. The render engine, cycles. Okay. Uh, that's a little laggy. Okay. Great. So now with our cake, I'm going to go to the shading tab. Let's add new material for our cake. Uh, a cake is basically uh, a brown thing like. A cake is basically brown, right? And now what we need is some like bump on the surface of the cake. So for that, I'm gonna drag out the displacement and uh, plug in a Voronoi texture. And uh, here we have our cake. Maybe we can scale it up. And uh, detail. No detail should be less. Roughness maybe. Change the modes. See anything? Yeah, that's great. That's great. Okay, so uh, here we have our cake. A basic cake that you can not eat yet. It's not so beautiful. And I can actually. Multiply this distance factor by something uh, small, so max and multiply by a really small number like 0 0.2. That will decrease the amount of bump we have here. That's good. Okay, next up we have our cream. So uh, to add our cream, it is a little complexing. So I'm gonna switch over to the layout tab and I'm gonna actually duplicate this cylinder here. And then I'm gonna hide the previous cylinder. I can scale this up by a little bit. <coughs> then uh, I'm gonna press one. I'm gonna Modifiers, add a modifier, the remesh modifier that will help. Okay, that's two four. And I'm gonna apply my modifier and I'm gonna go to edit mode and I'm gonna enable X ray and press C and like that. 
That's our tree. So we're gonna select a lot of vertices and uh, Okay, that's that's great so i'm gonna press the delete button and delete these vertices okay that's the basic cream now uh you can right click and shade smooth and i am gonna add another modifier called the smooth modifier i'm gonna give it a factor of like that i'm gonna add modifier extrude uh, I mean solidify so solidify modifier actually gives it a little bit of uh, depth so we have a solidify modifier then I'm gonna press alt s to unhide our uh, base so mm. So now for uh, materializing our cream. So our cream has the same texture as the cake. I'm gonna go into shading tab and shift etch this, and I'm gonna delete these two things. So basically, a cake cream is white, like in Minecraft, probably. Okay, plain white cream. Here we have it. Then I'm gonna add some of noise. I'm gonna like multiply it by a factor. Multiply by vector point zero three. Okay. Yeah. Oh yes, uh, then I'm gonna go to the RGB node and I'm gonna duplicate this vector map thing and switch this to add and then I'm gonna choose the white color and add that into this. That gives us a subtle green, a little, a little bit color. Next up, we can add in some details like our the stuff you have on the cream, right? For that, I'm gonna need a little bit of. I'm gonna add in a mask green texture. Nine the scale. then we're gonna change the amount of displacement we have by using the math node again and multiply this math node by and then the factor to like the number very small 0 0.03 okay, that's great now we want to add our cherries so i'm gonna hide this again i press shift a and add a uv sphere I'm gonna add a new material, name it Cherry. Make it red. Make it more uh, less rough. Say smooth. That's more of a cherry. Yeah, that's a good cherry. That's a good cherry. I'm gonna grab it aside. Other toppings that we have over our cream is something like, you know what? Here we go. So we have our blender, right? And that's a good piece of topping. So, name it cooking. And uh, make our base 
that and proteins are also like usually less rough that's protein number one i'm gonna add some bevel on the top Where is bevel? Where did bevel go? Oh, there it is. Ah. <clears throat> and I'm going to select these. Here we have topping number one. I'm gonna rename it topping one. I'm gonna duplicate it. There's material. And I'm gonna change the color to like yellow. Fill it down. Click it. Now we have a set of topping. Where is the cherry? So now uh, these toppings, you can select them all and then press M to move them to a new collection called Topping. Okay, I'm gonna grab them aside and make our cakes visible again. So next up, we select our cake and to add some particles on the above surface of it, we're then going to wait frame mode and paint on the top where we want the cherries and other toppings okay so this is the area we want the toppings to be in now go to object mode and particles add a new particle system set it to here and uh, here you have some uh, here you have the render properties so Render as collection, instant collection, topping. Okay, here we have our set of toppings. We can scale down there, scale them down, scale randomness, and we can rotate our row. This is like enable rotation, randomize. Then that uh, we have a great cake, right? Maybe add a big cherry in the middle. Where did the cherry go? The cherry come here. Look at that. And, uh, Big cherry on top. Okay, and there you have a great cake. Uh, if you see these things going into each other, you can change their number. And there's C. Now I'm gonna go into render view and here we can see our cake. I'm gonna attach our light, making previous radius, duplicate, get our light here, change it to area. Oh, here we have our cake. Now uh, we can add some after effects onto this by going into the compositor 
reliable use nodes. Gonna render again. I don't know why it does that. So into our composite here, I'm gonna add some layer. Shift A and add some layer to our page. And set the streaks to fog glow. We'll set this to high. Set the size to something like six. Set the mix. Okay, that's right. And then I'm gonna add some chromatic aberration. Right lens distortion. I'm gonna add a lens distortion node after this and set the dispersion to something very low like 0 0.001. Say All right, so that is our cake done. So thank you for watching and see you again in the next video.